upper shank, and today we're going to take a look at the buoyancy of sand. Now we can use this as a model for understanding the buoyancy of liquids and also the buoyancy of gases. So let's take a closer look. It was Archimedes that explained that buoyancy is an upward force that's exerted by a fluid against an object. If the object's heavier than the fluid, the object will sink. In this case, gravity is actually forcing the brick down through the particles of the water. There is still an upward buoyant force, but it's just not enough to lift this brick. Now, since the styrofoam weighs less than water, it floats. If I submerge it, the buoyant force will push it up through the water because the buoyant force is actually greater than the weight of the styrofoam. The same holds true for gases. This glove has air in it, so it sinks. It's too heavy for the air to support it. This glove, however, has helium in it. So the helium is, is light enough to compensate for the weight of the glove, so this glove floats. <laughs> now let's take a look at the same experiment in a bucket of sand. This steel ball is heavier than sand particles, ping pong ball is lighter than sand particles, but neither one is moving. The reason is the particles of sand just have too much friction to allow either ball to move either downward or upward. In this case, the buoyant force can't overcome the frictional force. Now on the bottom of this bucket is a little toy motor with a piece of wood attached to it. And when I run electricity through it, it spins, it shakes the bottom of the bucket, and that's going to make the sand inside the bucket move. It's going to put the particles in motion. So what do you think the movement of the sand particles will do to the friction? Well, let's see. particles of sand now in motion, it's reducing the friction and we get a better idea of the buoyant force of sand. The heavier steel balls can push down through that sand and the sand's able to lift up those particles that are lighter than the sand. So this is the same type of behavior that particles of a liquid or particles of a gas apply to objects when they're submerged in either one of those types of fluids.